Hello and welcome to Magic Menopause. I'm Dr. Anna Kabeca and I am really sincerely thrilled to be here with you on your journey as we walk through the steps and processes and your beautiful gifted transformation and looking forward to the discoveries you make along the way. Thank you for being here. All right, so let me teach you the seven ways to balance your hormones nat naturally in my head to toe approach. Okay, so first is pause. I'm gonna list them out for you first, and then I'm gonna walk you through the daily practice that I want you to incorporate as part of your healing regimen, as part of your grounding, your um, daily practice and awareness of your body's amazing ability to heal and walk you through that. But first, let me list them out for you. So number one is positive mental attitude, is keeping a positive mental attitude thinking yourself well, that positive self-talk, right? Uh, you know, uh, overcoming the obstacles of issues of value, self-worth or self-sabotage, right? Remember getting that evil bitch off your shoulder as I've talked about before? So that's key, positive mental attitude, positive self-speak. And the second key is that food is information and misinformation. And so with that said, remembering that there are a few rules that I love to teach to incorporate you as part of your living practice when it comes to your nutrition. There's a few, three of my favorite rules I'm going to teach you right now. So the first is breakfast like a king, lunch like a nobleman, and dinner like a pauper. It's an old, old, old Arabic, our Arabic saying. And it really is you break fast in the morning. So breakfast, get that energy in because you're going to need it to make it through the day, right? And then a healthy lunch and a very light dinner because we don't need too much energy at the end of the day. That's time to wind down a light meal, soup salad, something light and um, preferably eaten before 7 p.m., okay? So that's rule number one, breakfast like a king, lunch like a nobleman, dinner like a pauper. So rule number two when it comes to the second way as far as food as information is no white, no wheat, no sweet, and very little red meat. So no white, no wheat, no sweet, and very little red meat. So that is really key. What do I mean by no white? No white sugar, no white processed food, no white, rice no you know we know white um you no know, even i include dairy into my no white so that's part no sweet is no sugar no artificial sweeteners because we really want to rely on our body's ability to use the energy that we have that we are not in this fat storing mode and and sugar sets off a whole cascade of signals that um, can wreak havoc on our body causing inflammation and very little red meat, we don't need a lot, honestly, and there's a lot of hormones in meat, and I want your body to balance your hormones naturally. We don't need interference of others, okay? Protein, good source, healthy, and if you're gonna have some meat, organic, free range, I'm a big fan of buffalo. The third rule when it comes to food is information, and as far as our nutrition, is if you can pick it, peel it, fish it, hunt it, milk it, grow it, then for the most part you can eat it. So those are kind of key mnemonics for our, our, our second way to balance your hormones naturally. I know there's like a hundred things in there, but I want you to have that information. The third is healthy digestion for a glowing complexion. So what we need to eat, we want to eat that food really, really well. We want to make sure our body is digesting it. So chew your food and don't dilute your stomach acid. We need, when we eat something, our body produces acid to dissolve that meat or whatever it is we've eaten so our body can absorb the nutrients, right? Makes sense? And so, but if we take that unlimited refill, we pour that glass of water, glasses of wine and or beer or Coca-Cola or whatever on top of that stomach acid that your body is producing, you've diluted the acid. The food gets fermented right? And you get some bad breath, odors, indigestion. The food also gets flushed down, partially digested in the intestines, creating bacterial overgrowth, something we call a dysbiosis. So that's really, really important. So that is really key. The third key is healthy digestion for a glowing complexion. Chew your food, don't dilute your stomach acid, okay? The fourth is detoxification. So, you know, I say detoxification for revitalization. It's the first step that I put patients through in my programs because that's the quickest way I can get you to doing better. And we detox through our liver, 
through our skin, our kidneys, our intestines, what mu comes in must go out. A key part to detoxification is pooping regularly, of course. So that's really a big, uh, a big priority there in, in pooping regularly. And even if you've been constipated for 20 years, and believe me, I, I know that there are, are you out there? I, I completely relate to that. We can get your intestines working within 21 days through this method, detoxification, pooping regularly, and sometimes um, adding, adding nutrients and enzymes or probiotics to help you do that. But with the key of detoxification is keeping an alkaline diet, which is very important. An alkaline diet is eating from nature, right? Eating foods that are green, whole, just in the same category, pick it, peel it, fish and hunt it, milk it, grow it, for the most part you can eat it. Meats, sugar, wine, those are more acidic. So if we keep 80% alkaline, 20% acidic, we're keeping an alkaline balance program. So that's really key for detoxification. The next way we balance our hormones naturally is through our hormonal health, through our glandular production. So through our adrenal glands, through our gonads, our ovaries, or for men, their testes, that's part of the hormonal communication. So one big thing that I, I like to really do is addressing stress because stress wreaks havoc on our hormone systems. It imbalances our entire body. And I, I'm a big fan of, of really working on um, uh, with supporting the adrenals with adaptogenic herbs and nutrients such as maca. And that's one of the key reasons I formulated my Mighty Maca Greens. So I had something very comprehensive and easy to give to patients that helped me myself in restoring my premature menopause and my menopause failure, uh, my ovarian failure. So um, that's, that's really key to supporting your hormonal balance, adding progesterone, not progestins when we need it. I go into a lot more detail in the program about that, but I want you to be aware of that key um, balancer, gaining control of our stressors for hormone for hormone balance. And then sexual health is so important. You know, my class in Women's Restorative Health Bootcamp, that's now a whole series, is called Sexual CPR. God intended sex for life and life from sex. So being connected to our vibrant feminine energy, that twinkle in your eye, getting that twinkle in your eye back, reigniting the intimacy of your relationship is so important. And then finally, number seven is movement. Structure and function is really balancing, is really getting grounded in movement, whatever that is for you. My favorite physical activity is boxing and belly dancing. So those are two key activities for me. So let me summarize for you just quickly those seven keys. There's seven ways to balance your hormone naturally. Okay, so those in summary, just quickly, I know it's a lot of information, but um, seven ways to balance your hormone naturally is positive mental attitude, that healthy mind for a healthy body, and then remember food as information, so no white, no wheat, no sweet, very little red meat, that's key. We want you to poop regularly, handle your stressors so you can get a good night's sleep, and sleep is key to balancing your hormones regularly alkalinize your diet and be grounded in movement physical activity so a daily practice that i want you to do is as you're checking in with yourself daily and 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 encouraging your body in its authentic innate intuitive healing ability is to do this practice do this with me now put your hands on your head and, and you know you realize you have to think well to be well so that positive mental attitude attitude, re, reaffirm yourself in the most positive sense, state your diamond self or your revolution of you statement, that positive affirmation of yourself, that vision of yourself being playful, energetic, beautiful. And then think your mouth, you know, food is information and you are, you know, what you put in your body is, is nutrients to support your body in health and healing and down blessing your thyroid and as digestion takes place through your esophagus into your stomach, just healing organs. Also, I was bless our, our, our breast and health and healing and healing from relationships. That's really key as we're doing this as part of my daily practice. And so, you know, thanking our stomach for digesting our food, absorbing all our nutrients, getting that 
process going and then bringing your hands to your liver, one of our major detox organs, and just blessing the liver because the liver holds the energy of hate. So giving, feeding love into the liver, letting go of any hate, anger, um, uh, resentment and just letting that go um, and infuse love into your liver. Thank it for detoxifying your body. It's a huge way that we detoxify our hormones from our system as well. And as you recognize your arm is around your intestines, blessing your intestines for digesting and healing and absorbing your nutrients and moving things through, working and and peristalsing just perfectly so that you eliminate really well. Bring your hands to the back, just bring in your fingers towards the back, mid-waist. That's where your kidneys are and there's beautiful adrenal glands that are fight and flight responders, a big part of our entire hormone uh, neuroendocrine system and just blessing those um, adrenal glands and relieving stress and you know, sending, infusing love into them. The kidneys also hold the energy of fear. So being able to let go of fear and reassure your safety and security is um, important there. So sending love into your kidneys and thanking them for also being amazing detox organs. And then recognizing hormonal balance is also uh, around our ovaries and sending love into our ovaries, even if you've had your ovaries removed. We work on the energetic component of that and blessing your body for being so intelligent and balancing your hormones beautifully and naturally. Bring your hands lower as women just into our realm of our feminine and sacred chakra, the sexual health that we really think of um, is stems where our feminine energy and power can also be grounded in and just sending love. And I'm a big advocate, you know, for sexual health and restoring that twinkle into your eye and just recognizing um, the power that we have as women and acknowledging our sexual organs because we are sedentary and um, often, you know, we put ourselves last. So really just sending love into your feminine anatomy and energetically and then also finally structure and function running your hands all the way down to your feet as you just thank your body for strong legs for the ability to have movement and dance and just rem reminding yourself that you are active and energetic and powerful and your body has this amazing ability to heal and that you will do that head to toe assessment every day that check-in sending love through your body inspiring your energetic healing acknowledging and loving every part of your body that is working so hard to keep you healthy this temple of your spirit that has been divined in you to help you live your purpose passionately love abundantly and feel and look fabulous so with those seven ways and that practice of just loving your body, reminding yourself that you need to nurture yourself and being thankful for this body you've been given and giving that thanks and recognition back to your body is a huge beneficial practice. I look forward to hearing your comments about what this practice does for you. It's been beautifully transformational. And um, please post your comments up on Quebec Health Facebook page. I look forward to seeing you there. Now in this video, I've given you a lot of tools and tips to help you along this journey. These are foundational principles and will carry you far. So you may even need to listen again, take some notes, jot things down, and start practicing one baby step at a time in your life. Share this information as we continue to grow our community of healthy women worldwide, healthy families, healthy relationships, and I wish you a beautiful time in your journey. And I'm so excited that you're here with me and I'll see you more on the inside of Magic Menopause.